Hi everybody, welcome to my new vlog channel. Yay! Um, I just wanted to jump on to introduce myself for those of you who are new. Sorry, the cat's distracting. No, I don't have a cat. I'm at my best friend Lisa's house in Texas. Say hi, Lisa. <laughs> well, see, we spoke too soon. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, ooh, that's a, that's a great shot. It was still a great shot. So I'm at my best friend Lisa's house in Texas. I live in mid-Missouri. I am a housewife with one husband and zero kids and one mother-in-law that I live with. She has one cat. I have zero cats. I had a cat. My fur baby went to heaven um, in 2013. So that's a whole lot. I'm an orphan. I'm from Long Island, New York. Um, I wasn't an orphan when I was growing up, thank God. I was an orphan until I was 39 years old. But I come from a very large family, and I mean that in more ways than one. There are six of us, and we all are plus size. So we are large in many ways. Um, actually, if you came over from my main channel, you already know this. So you guys are probably like, whatever. But on the vlog channel I wanted to create, I did vlog, I participated in Vlogmas 2018, and it was quite popular with my regular channel subscribers. So I said to you guys, would you like me to start a vlog channel? And many of you voted yes. So I thought I would come on here, and I think I'm going to vlog. I'll start vlogging at least two times a week, um, and then we'll see how it goes from there. I would love to do daily vlogs and do daily DIYs on my channel, my main channel, but while I'm away, that's going to be a little difficult. But I did promise you I would launch in the beginning of the year. And today is January 2nd, the beginning of the year. So, here we are. Um, what can you expect from the vlog? Not only just chit chats and stuff, but a little bit of like seeing my daily routine. I'll take you guys with us where we go different places. And I'll capture little snippets of our daily life here and there as we go along. I hope you enjoy that. Um, if you have any suggestions of things that you'd like to see on this channel, please leave them in the description box. Nope, don't do that. Leave them in the comment section down below. <laughs> you can't write stuff in the description box. Why would I even ask you to do that? You guys will see a lot of bloopers on this channel. Because I'm thinking I might not edit. <laughs> this will be the pace, place, the pace. This will be the place to come for comedy. I'm telling you. But anyhow, if you have any suggestions of things that you'd like to see, please leave them in the comment section down below. Um, if you are new here, I am a for, I was forced retired from all of the jobs that I had when I moved from um, New York. I tried to get some work here and none of the work panned out to make money from my family, basically. So I started a YouTube channel in December of 2016. Um, that that channel, if you're new, will be in the description box down below. And um, then things have been going really well. And um, like I said, I have people ask me to go ahead and start vlogging. So that's what I'm doing. Um, what else? That's the cats. Um, let's see. You'll see Jim from time to time. But Jim right now is in Missouri. Um, if you guys want to see the cooking on this channel, we can do that. If you want to see the shopping on this channel, we can do that. Just let me know what you want to see where. Um, if you want the other channel just to be for DIYs and tutorials, we could do cooking and DIYs over there. Um, and then we can do organizing and house tours here. It's really totally good. I'm going to like let you guys be have some creative input as well. All right. And of course... You all have differences of opinion, so I can't please everybody, but we'll do our best majority rules in this family. Okay? Anything else? I don't think so. I don't think so. She don't think so either. Um, oh, that's what I started to say. Um, I live with limitations. A lot of times you'll see videos on my channel that say cooking or cleaning with limitations. I have uh, severe arthritis in both, uh, actually in all of my joints. <laughs> Like, I wake up in the morning and my hands do that hard thing, but not because I love everybody, just because I can't make a fist. I can make a fist at the end of the day, but in the morning, nope. But I, I have arthritis. It's genetic, a genetic type of arthritis that's all over my body. Um, I have always been plus-sized, like I was a fat baby, a fat toddler, and you on, so on, and so forth. 
but always super active until 2011 when I really had um, hurt my knee dancing at a Christian rock concert and it kind of curtailed my energy, um, which is very disappointing because I was, I really liked to do things. And I'm not gonna cry, because I always cry on my channels. Because I get emotional about how much fun I used to have doing stuff, so. But we have that sense of camaraderie here for those of you who have limitations as well. And maybe we can give each other tips and suggestions on how to get through daily life as well. Okay? So I think this is a good start to the vlog channel. If, um, like I said, if you want to share with anybody who you know just wants to listen to me talk, I have a lot of comments about how my voice is so soothing and calming. That's very nice to hear. None of my brothers and sisters feel that way. <laughs> they, all, they all think I talk too much and I whine, but that's what happens when you're the baby. What are you gonna do? Um, if you uh, want to have any of the ASMR videos, if you guys don't know what that is, that's sort of like the sensory sort of stimulation where you just really talk softly and do I don't know it's weird stuff but check it out if you want to see any of that let me know okay hold on can you see her can you see the camera can see her you can kind of see her okay she is let me take the camera okay hold on there you go. Can you see her on top of those cabinets? That stinker pot. <laughs> How did she get up there? The top of the Baby. Baby. Good. She's exploring her new home. She's like Magellan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Which are mine by extension. I, I said so. I said so. I know you said so too, but I said so. No, I said so first. You did. <laughs> when she said when she said first said that, she made me cry <laughs> because I cry a lot because I'm a cancer. I am also a type two diabetic that loves snack cakes, but <laughs> I don't eat other crap. That's the only crap that I eat. <laughs> I try to limit the amount of that crap that I put in my body. Um, I don't always, I'm not always successful, but I try. Um, anything else? Oh, I like to decorate my, my house is decorated in French country farmhouse, which some parts of French country, some parts of farmhouse, some parts of country, some parts of country farmhouse. You pick it all, depend on the room and my mood. I decorate She's for. Not a minimalist. I'm not a. I have a non-minimalist house tour over on my other channel, and actually, um, I decorate for every single holiday you could think of, including the Super Bowl. Actually, I haven't decorated for the Super Bowl in the last three years because um, we stopped having Super Bowl parties because my friend Linda died. That's why. But maybe we'll do it this year. I don't know if I'm going to be home. I might not be home. I might be here. Who knows? Um. But you'll see me decorate and DIY on the other channel for all the different holidays. And I can't think of anything else. Do you? She already said no before, so why am I still talking? <laughs> um, I feel like on my other channel, I never got political or personal. I am a non-God-fearing Christian woman because I don't believe that God was something to be feared but he loves us all. If we just be humble um, before him, then we will be forgiven for our discretions, indiscretions and other things. Um, I believe that my Jesus loves everybody, even if you're a non-believer, um, but that's just my belief. And if you have a different opinion, that's okay. That's okay too. Um, I am, dare I say it? Say it. I'm a member of the Christian left, which means I'm a liberal. I'm not a snowflake. But then again, I told my niece, my, ne my brother called my niece a snowflake, and I was like, well, that's a compliment as far as I'm concerned. She goes, why? Because they use it as a mean thing. I was like, yeah. But one snowflake might be delicate, but when you get them together, avalanche. That's all I'm saying. 
Anyhow, um, that's where I stand for that. And now I the just, cat, now the cat's on the stove. <laughs> I just don't see how anybody can think that wanting to love and help and support each other is a bad thing. I know. I just don't. And especially like you say that, that a lot of people say that this is a Christian country based on Christianity, which in a way, no, yes, they came for religious freedom. So everybody can have their own religious freedoms. But if you're going to say that, at least act like a Christian. Love thy neighbor as you do thyselves was Jesus's great commandment. There was 10 and the 10, he was born and it took over the 10 and that's what it said. So you're still supposed to follow the 10, but you're supposed to follow the one. And the one is love your neighbor as you would yourself. Treat me and then treat them the same. I mean, it depends on which version of the Bible you, um, which translation of the Bible you follow for the exact quote. But do unto others as you have done unto you is pretty much wraps that up no matter which version you're looking at. Um, so, um, I know that we have gone without when we were growing up and that's why I probably am so generous now because I know what it's like to go live without. I know what it's like to go hungry. I know what it's like to not eat properly and to have hand-me-downs and not have clean clothes and not have books for school and not have lunch at school and not have sneakers for gym and I know about all those things. So that's why I feel like maybe I need to extend my heart to others the best way I can. That's it. So that's the introduction to this channel. Um, that's the introduction to this channel. Hopefully you'll enjoy our content if you do stick around. Um, again, if you like what I have to say, give these videos a thumb up, thumbs up, really helps promote this new channel and share with friends and family. Um, check out the other channel if you're new and you've never seen any of my videos before. I'm gonna link my main channel in the description box down below. And I would love for you to stop by and just say hi that you came from there or hi you came from here, either way, okay? So um, as always, you take care, God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Yep, I'm gonna close these videos like that too. Bye.